Hi Capricorn, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of December. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Okay Capricorn, this reading will be anything that comes up here. So it may be about love, it may be about career and finances, it may be about family, friends, it could be anything. I'm gonna, just going to take the energy as it comes and whatever it is, it is. So obviously if you clicked on it, there's probably something in here for you if you resonated with the title. So... Please only take what resonates, throw away the rest, including uh, signs mentioned. We're going to look at, first we'll get an opening message for you. Then we'll look at your current energy, whatever it may be, whatever comes out. Your actual situation, advisory situation, possible outcome, all clarified with tarot, oracles. So please stay tuned to get the whole message. And um, thank you so much. Okay, so Capricorn, let's see what's going on with you. I may pick up on past, present, or future energies. I could pick up on a situation with somebody around you but it may be affecting you also so please keep that in mind um so we'll just see what comes out here so if everybody's doing well happy fall happy december so this reading is good for now whenever you see this tell whenever i do consider all my readings timeless um even though there's a date on them date on them i just do that so my viewers know which order they were uploaded on but if you'd like to go back and watch past readings um, all the playlists are down below in the description box. So, Capricorn, let's see. Let's get an opening sign, planet, element, whatever comes out here. If you don't resonate with what comes out, totally, totally fine. Let's see what we have. Sagittarius. Well, wow, I just did the Sagittarius reading, so <laughs> I just, just did it. So, maybe you have Sag in your chart. You know somebody that has Sag in their chart. Could be a family member, friend, boss, coworker significant other so we'll see if you um don't resonate with that totally fine okay so let's see let's get an opening message for you capricorn opening message for you capricorn opening message for you capricorn at this time wow <laughs> okay take this one Expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. So I don't know when the next eclipse is, but that may not mean anything. This just could be there's a powerful change or expect powerful change. Hmm, are you expecting change? If not, then you might want to be prepared. There may be some sort of powerful change coming in for you. It may be hidden. You may not be able to see it because this is eclipse energy here. Or maybe you kind of have an inkling or a knowing because you can see just a little bit, little bit right there, but not much. So you may have an inkling or a knowing or sense something is coming or changing. And it is behind there. That change is behind there. You just can't see it fully right now. All right. So let's get your energy. Let's get one for your energy right now, Capricorn. You are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So, um... Virgo energy is end of August into September. So uh, this could be a Virgo around you. If not, or you have Virgo in your chart, it could be your moon sign. Um, but you are good enough. So whatever doubt or fears you're having or you're not valuing yourself or you don't have that self-love or you think you're not good enough for something here, uh, I think if you change your way of thinking and your way of looking at things, I think change, powerful change will come into your life because you are good enough. And Virgo does represent, um, well, I thought it represented the Empress, but it doesn't. But um, that's like Empress energy. Emperor, Empress, doesn't matter. Male, female, whoever's watching this, doesn't matter. It's all just energy. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck here. We have adjustments are required third quarter moon so something is not full, fully again you can't see things fully here it's not fully exposed yet um so adjustments are required so again adjusting your way of thinking feeling being in a more positive um energy knowing that you are good enough and i think powerful powerful change will come into your life things will come out better in every single way because the more you get in that higher vibration, that positive mindset and thinking, unexpected miracles, changes, um, 
come in for you. And Sagittarius does represent the wheel. Spirit just pointed that out. Sagittarius in the tarot represents the wheel of fortune, which is about fate, destiny, divine timing, things going in your favor, better luck, um, things going in a better direction. So again, I think um, if you change your mindset, again, that higher vibration, the universe will start turning the wheel of fortune in your favor. Because you got the 10 to the 9. So it's kind of like you're almost going backwards. And you need to set that wheel into forward mo uh, movement. All right. So let's see what's going on. So you got new moon to the full moon. You got the third quarter moon. So the, you know, new moon to the full moon is like a whole complete cycle. So let's see what's going on for you. Capricorn. All right, Capricorn, you are good enough. So why is that here for Capricorn? We got the Seven of Mirrors, the Seven of Cups, Energy, and Justice. Energy, which is a Libra, but doesn't have to be. So with this energy here, I feel like Justice will be coming in. Balanced uh, scales will be balanced. There'll be truth, clarity. Justice will be served in your situation, whether it's legal, doesn't have to be. It could just be, again, that wheel of fortune of things going in a better direction and just things balancing out for you and going in your favor. But feeling a little confused right now with the Seven of Mirrors, um, daydreamy, confused kind of energy, options, decisions, like unsure about this, like I just don't know, and being like in that energy, yeah, of like, woe is me with the Four of Mirrors here, the Four of Cups. Being in that energy of like, you know, uh, I just don't know. I just don't know. But now we have the Ace of Wands here. So this is a passionate new beginning, exciting new beginning, an endeavor, a project, um, something here, idea, brand new beginning here for you. Could be anything, could be a new relationship, a new job. You could be moving to a new home. You could have a new creative idea, a project. Um, maybe wanting to be an entrepreneur, but that is a very passionate, divinely guided new beginning. So as soon as you start to change your mindset, get the wheel turning in a better direction, reversing your way of thinking, this new beginning will come in, justice will be served. But I feel like right now you're in this energy. This energy over here is confusion and bored and complacent and just like, I don't know, I don't know. But over here you have the new beginning and that justice coming in. So see how the wheel turns clockwise. So this energy is going clockwise. So, all right. So let's see, let's see, let's see what your actual situation is. Capricorn. So whatever new beginning, whatever way you're waiting for justice in your situation, it's all coming in here. This powerful change is coming in. Whatever you're waiting on, whatever you're trying to go for. Your actual situation. Yeah, the chariot. Cancer energy doesn't have to be. So far we got um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, I mean, don't get too caught up with the signs. But this is Cancer here with the Chariot. This is positive movement forward. Again, positive movement forward. Moving ahead with a lot of drive, ambition, go-getter. You know, being very balanced. Just going after what you want. A lot of drive, ambition. And not having that self-doubt because that is a very successful card. That successful, positive movement forward. Very quick movement forward also. All right, so, oh, do I have a card reversed here? I do. So that's meant. Six of Scrolls, again, wow. This is like the minor of the chariot. Air energy here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, doesn't have to be. But, again, Six of Scrolls, leaving the past behind. That negative thinking behind. Energy, whatever energy, people, places, things, thoughts, whatever, no longer serving you, moving ahead in a more positive direction, more peaceful, calm, balanced, healing place, and leaving whatever crap you're dealing with behind. You know, movement forward, movement por forward to a better place. All right, so moving forward to a better place, Capricorn, it's all here. The King of Stones in, that's your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, being very well grounded, smart, practical, um, 
knowing your value and your worth, you know, having everything you need, making your coins, making your money, uh, just being very stable, practical, could be, again, like a high-ranking voice, uh, high-ranking boss, entrepreneur, good with finances, very stable, grounded energy, and being financially set. Wow, it's your energy. This is your energy going, moving forward into a better place, getting that wheel to turn, Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune in a better direction. See if the Wheel of Fortune comes out for you. Be something if it did. Let's get more here. So we got the Two of Spirals energy here. Leo Sagittarius. So this is making plans, decisions for your future, moving ahead, uh, making choices about the direction, new direction that you're going in. So making yeah directions. So let's get one more. The Hermit. Virgo energy here. So yeah, really seeing the way, the light, knowing what you need to do. Uh, you may take a time out here, spend some time alone to really think, contemplate, and decide here, making these decisions and this positive movement forward. Powerful change. You are good enough. Adjustments are required. So whatever that means for you, these decisions you may have to make, these adjustments moving forward to this uh, better place, this new beginning, whatever it is for you. All right, so let's get, let's get the three of mirrors. So this is rejoicing, celebrating, reuniting, coming together, celebrations here. A very social number to me, socializing, friends, family, coworkers. Eight of mirrors, so walking away from something here that's no longer fulfilling to you. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This is both Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So definitely here walking away from something unfulfilling to something more fulfilling is with the chariot energy. Where there will be a lot of good times, happy times, rejoicing, celebrating, being in a happy energy with those around you. So wherever you're going to and you're not sure... I see a lot of good energy here, this place that you're walking to, because you're walking right into this energy here of compassion. Um, this is a compassionate card here. You see the lion with the lamb. So very peaceful, compassionate energy, happiness, joy, celebrating, rejoicing, coming people coming together. Walk, walking, you're walking right into that energy. So you are good enough. This change is coming. Decisions need to be made. All right, so let's see. Let's see. A couple more here. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. You saw me shuffle. Look what we got here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel. So, yeah, you're walking into something that's destined for you, that's meant to be. It's better fate, fortune, destiny. So here is the wheel clarifying. That's the Sagittarius energy. Yep, divine timing, things going in your favor, something divinely guided for you with the wheel. Getting that wheel turning, though, out of this complacent, bored, uh, doubtful energy into this, and reversing it and turning it into all this positive energy and positive movement forward. Powerful, powerful change here. So, yeah, we got the Nine of Mirrors here. So, again, happiness and joy. Happiness and joy, wishes and dreams coming true. Energy here. Independent energy, nine. You could be, you know, an independent person. You could be walking into your independence, and maybe that's where you have fears and doubts. That's the powerful change. A lot of adjustments in that. I see everything going in a better direction for you, though. Walking into your peace, harmony, happy place. Wow. Okay. So let's get possible outcome for you, Capricorn. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. It could be moving home. It could be anything. Whatever your situation is, if this resonates in your situation. Now we have the Queen of Cups energy. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, you know, this could be a water sign around you. If not, this is just you being in that self-worth, value, love, having self-love for yourself now. And moving forward in a loving, compassionate, peaceful, harmonious place. Caring, nurturing, giving kind of energy. 
having love and self-love. Being all the more, more wiser with the owl there in the tree. And the moon in the background, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing, moving forward. Feel like it's a road, um, a road you have to travel here. You see how she's traveling? A road that you must travel, that you have to travel, as you have travel on this path here with the Eight of Cups also walking this path that must be traveled to a better life for yourself. All right, Capricorn. Let's get a few more here. So now we have the hero. This is the Fool Energy Aquarius. So this is taking a leap of faith, resetting, restarting at zero, jumping right in, having a new start, a new beginning. Trusting everything will be fine and taking that leap of faith to your new beginning. And the hangman. So this is, you know, Cancer Pisces doesn't have to be. I'm sorry about the glare here. So, you know, this is taking a pause, a break, uh, gaining new perspectives on everything here. Um, and really thinking back, contemplating, not taking any action for now. So, you know, again, because you did have, did we have the hermit here? Yeah, the hermit and the hangman. It's kind of almost like the same energy. Um, but yeah, I think you, you really will find your way, your light, in journeying into this new beginning for you, whatever it may be. Gaining new insight before you take action on things, better way of thinking. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom here. So we have the moon energy here. Again, listening to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. Um, this can be about not seeing things clearly, um, secrets or being disillusioned. Or these are very deep feelings about something here and emotions. So you can be very emotional at this time through this change with the moon energy here. And you got the tower. So some kind of tower moment here. It could be a breakdown of something, disruption. Or it could be a surprise. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad. Uh, a good surprise or a bad surprise or something crumbling down or something hitting you like a big epiphany and realization. This is Aries energy before a scroll. So again, taking that time out, healing, thinking, contemplating, um, rejuvenating, thinking things through. Four of stones, again, holding on to your stability. Again, two fours here. So really taking time here to, you know, take a time out, holding on to your stability, not letting go, doing what's best for you. And there's another brand new beginning of truth and clarity. And this could be this tower here of this big epiphany of having like this truth and clarity all of a sudden, like this is exactly what I need to do. And having this brand new beginning based on truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving you, standing up for yourself, telling it like it is kind of energy. Again, something could be ending here with the Scorpio energy. Death is an ending of a situation, people, places, and things no longer serving you and having, transforming into a brand new beginning. And here's the brand new beginning based, based on truth, clarity, um, things no longer serving, keeping only what you need here for your stability. Again, with thinking, contemplating, resting, healing. Tower moment here, big realization, deep emotions right now could be, I don't know for some of its secrets or just listening to your gut and your intuition. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. So I'm going to get a few more messages here with the this numerology deck. So I just ask if you do like my style, how I read, this resonates for you. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I do love to read the comments. If you subscribe, you'll get four readings a month. You'll get a general tarot forecast. You'll get a love connection energy reading, a singles reading who's coming towards you, and messages from spirit, what you need to know from spirit at this time. If you are interested in all those readings, please do subscribe, hit the bell, you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you so much. I also ask you to check the description box below. Lots of information, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, lots of stuff down there, playlist. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel and helping in the channel's growth. Uh, I couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you so much for all the support. So thank you so much. Okay, Capricorn, let's get some extra messages for you. Okay, I guess these are your messages. So we have manifestation, eight, travel, action, communication. So manifesting this brand new beginning for yourself, 
We have this arrow. Hero takes a leap of faith into a brand new beginning. And after the hero comes one, which is the magician, which is all about manifesting a brand new beginning. And you had the ace of wands, the ace of swords, two brand new beginnings. And you can manifest this brand new beginning and get that wheel turning. This powerful change. You are good enough making the adjustments that you need to make. Wow, we have eight, nine. So completion. Completion of a cycle here. Coming up to a completion. Um, something could have just completed in your life. A cycle. That's why you have this new cycle here. Whatever it is for you. Again, people, places, things, circumstances. Um, and manifesting that. Purple, to me, is always about like manifesting. Even though this pink has manifestation on it also. But, um, yeah. Completion here. Into new beginnings. Let's see if there's one more. One more for you, Capricorn. One more for Capricorn. Love partnership. So you could be going into a new love partnership. This could be what it's about. And we have eight again up there, which is about travel, communication, uh, working hard. So, yep. Yeah. Eight, two eights, and a nine. So this could definitely be going into new love partnership for some of you. There's deep emotions here with the moon. And we have spiritual career. So maybe some of you are going into a spiritual career. We have 8 and 7 here, which is 15, which is 6. So again with the 6, healing, balance, harmony, peace, spiritual career. So some of you, this could be a love partnership, something you love to do, going into a spiritual career. Could be an actual partner, um, whatever it is for you. But I think you're going in the right direction. Just have to change your mindset, adjustments. You are good enough and powerful change will come. Wow, Capricorn, so good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.